What's up guys, Belligerent here with another Bloodline video. In today's video, we're gonna we're gonna kind of get back, go back to our roots, I guess you might call it. Um, at least my roots, kind of what I had planned for this game from the beginning. It's just been kind of difficult to keep up with it because progression in this game is so slow, even if you're spending money. Um and so, like, I used to, I've done a few of these videos, and I really enjoy them, and it's really what sparks my interest about these types of games, and that's building all the different comps, theory crafting. And so this is kind of a new series, I don't even want to call it, a, just kind of a new regular thing I want to do, uh, put together just some theory crafted comps. Um for it to work however it's gonna have to be at low levels simply because that's really the only way i can put together comps at any kind of on any kind of regular basis and i think that's where i lost my way with this from what i was doing early on is that as my account progressed you know it's much more difficult to put together a team when you're competing at, you know, 15 star champions, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 million um, combat power, stuff like that. And it got muddled up and lost in all of the, the hustle to try to stay competitive at higher levels. And so I kind of want to like... I've been working kind of on this uh, new account. I've just been running it free to play and it's not, it's what a week old, a couple days old. I don't even know. So I'll probably keep developing, developing this. I have the campaign to kind of test and show these comps with this on my main account. I don't even have any campaign left. So it's really hard for me to show any kind of combat outside of arena so for this to work it's just gonna have to be kind of low levels and that's why we're gonna call it theory crafting as opposed to like a you know a definite comp so i want to show you not only in this video but in future videos to come the point will be to show you concepts quote unquote theory crafting uh composition concepts which hopefully you know, we'll spark some ideas for people uh, to possibly try out in the future. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe it, it, you like what you see and you want to kind of build up again, you know, build a team this way. Uh, also, the, the, the speed in which new champions uh, have been hitting the game make it kind of hard to keep up with that as well. So let's jump into this. This comp I have lovingly named divide and conquer and you'll see why when we get into this so first i just want to show you the comp we're just going to jump in here to a blank roster and i'm going to fill it out here okay so our front line we're going to go with female lionstone uh almost a must have i've been told at super high level she kind of is is falling off in the meta i'm not quite at those levels yet so i haven't experienced any of that I still run her. I would say I, I'm going to guess 95 to 99 percent of people still run her. Okay, my other front line is going to be female snake, uh, drop vala, or however you pronounce that thing. Okay, and we'll talk about how all of this fits in in just a second once we get finished. Okay, uh, in my mid, my two slot, I'm going with female lux, and the back line we're going to go double bugs. Okay, double infestation. Okay, now, how this is going to work, and then we'll run through a few comps. I'll show it. I'll even play them back uh, in kind of some slow mode there. But I'm going to you know, show you how this is going to work. All right? So, and the reason we call it divide and conquer. When the match starts, right, female bug zips her, you know, zips her way to the back line and starts attacking the target on the back line. After a few seconds pass, 
male bug's active goes, and he hits the back line too. He triggers his two clones. So now you have actually four people, or maybe three people, because his third clone probably hits somebody in the front line. Uh, but you have now three uh, champions on the back line, attacking the back line. Not only that, the male bug taunts the back line. So essentially they turn around and take their focus off of the front line. So you have divided the enemy's team, right? You've divided their focus. Their back line is now focusing on the two assassins in the back and their front line is now, you know, it, so it's kind of 3v3 in the front line, possibly 3v4 with the, the third clone from male bug and then you have 3v2 in the back line the two bugs and the one clone back there most of the time is how it works out okay then another uh unique thing that i have seen with this is after uh, after a little bit and i'm not exactly sure if it's her active or her ultimate or what exactly why she's going on i have to read her skills a little bit better but when she's attacking the after a time when she's attacking the back line, I don't know if it's when I think it's when the the target dies, she zips forward and I usually find that she zips forward into the front line. That's going to now that you have them divided, she jumps back up into the front line and bolsters your numbers and keeps that front line, you know, now at an uneven score. Okay, Lux helps suppress whatever their big target is, right? Because she's going to target uh, the champion with the most strength with her charm and kind of lock them down. Uh, female Snake, when her ultimate eventually goes off, she's fighting in the front line, but her ultimate targets somebody in the back line and targets the champion that's furthest away. So she's going to target somebody in the back line to give even more help in the back line. So, and then obviously Lionstone, we know, is just there to buff the team okay so you see how this in almost a, a a very graceful way splits the enemy team's focus and somehow manages to keep massive pressure on both sides it, because a, a lot of it is because of male bug uh, a little bit of it is because of the way female bug zips around and then obviously female snake helps with that ultimate that will target the back line um, at times so it, it's kind of keeping pressure from both the front and the back of their comp and dividing their attention so the their back line is not helping their front line so let's jump in here and run a few of these so you can see what i'm talking about here let me just jump into the challenge here like i said super Super kind of early game on this. Let me get in here. And yeah, we're only on stage 6-1 on this. But it's still um, level-wise. You can see we're under level power. Combat power, we're a little higher. So it should be a fairly easy fight. But we're going to watch. Just kind of watch the fight as it plays out. I'm also going to take it off at two times speed. So you can just see how it plays out. So their female bug goes to the back. And now male bug is in the back. So now you have... Uh, three people there in the back. One goes down, and now female bug has... I don't even know what's going on. We'll have to watch this again in slow mode. Um, but you see how the divide and conquer works quite well. All right, we did lose female Lionstone in that, but that's fine. Okay, let's run this one through again. This one we'll actually watch back a second time. I didn't watch the other one back a second time. All right, so right about now we're at the divide. So we have all the people there on the back line. We got some help coming from Female Snake. Okay. And then the nice thing about this, especially with Male Bug and his clones, is once you get the back line to drop, you're now coming almost with an army from the back line up into the front line. Okay. So if we take a look at this here, you see, I'm actually getting the most damage from Female Snake, okay? We're actually getting, you know, about even damage from the bugs there. And 
Um, some actually decent damage from Lux as well. So we're kind of getting it all over. Let's watch this replay again here. So there's the attack, the first attack from female bug. And if we kind of watch her, now she's zipped back up to the front over by female lionstone. So you see how she starts it in the back and now she's in the back again. So she's kind of all over the place. And I think that's a big key to this comp working and just kind of feeling like you have damage coming from all over the map. Um, that and, and the obviously the other big key is male bug and you know being able to summon his clones and so you have uh, multiple damage dealers on both fronts both up in the front line and in the back line and then obviously with female lux's charm you're adding even more damage in your favor um, and it just works so well so um yeah that is the uh what i have dubbed the divide and conquer comp okay um a lot of the a lot of new champions in this one three three newer champions in this one so obviously not easy to get in this comp but i feel like this comp has serious potential um i think even in once it scales up to higher levels, I think there's definitely potential there. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you give this a try. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. I'm belligerent. Peace.